Hello friends, welcome to techwithas.learn and the first video of our new series on Onboard Diagnostics or OBD. Friends, modern vehicles are equipped with complex systems that monitor and manage performance, emissions and safety. OBD systems play a critical role in this ecosystem, acting as the vehicle communication interface for diagnostics and troubleshooting. In this video, we will explore the origins of OBD, its evolution over time, and why it's become an indispensable tool in automotive diagnostics. By understanding OBD, you will gain insights into how your vehicle communicates issues and how technicians interpret these signals to keep your car running smoothly. Stay tuned, we will delve deeper into the world of OBD in this series. So let's start. Let's explore now what onboard diagnostics or OBD really means for a vehicle. OBD is essentially a car's built-in diagnostic system. It continuously monitors the performance of the key components like engine, transmission and emission controls. When it detects a problem, it doesn't just turn on the check engine light, but it also records a specific code that helps identify the issue. These codes are known as Diagnostic Trouble Codes or DTC. We will learn about DTC in the subsequent video in this series. Now let's see a small history of OBD evolution to gain the importance of this topic in automotive world. In 1988, California is the first to mandate the implementation of basic OBD system known as OBD-1 to monitor vehicle emissions and ensure compliance with environmental regulation. Fast forward to 1996, OBD-2 becomes mandatory for all cars and light trucks sold in the United States. This advancement standardized diagnostic trouble codes and connectors making vehicle diagnostics more accessible and efficient. In this slide, I tried to capture the key differences between OBD-1 and 2 systems. OBD-1 systems were featuring manufacturer-specific protocols and connectors. This means each vehicle brand required its own unique diagnostic tool, making the process cumbersome and less efficient. In contrast, OBD-2 mandated in the US from 1996 onwards brought standardization with a universal 16-pin connector and standardized diagnostic trouble codes. It allowed for interoperability across different vehicle makes and models. Moreover, OBD2 systems provide real-time data access, enabling engineers and technicians to monitor various parameters like engine performance, fuel efficiency, and emission levels on the go. In summary, the transition from OBD1 to OBD2 marked a significant advancement in the vehicle diagnostics, offering enhanced capabilities, greater efficiency, and improved emission monitoring. So now with this, we learn what is OBD and why it is used. In the next video, we will understand diagnostic trouble codes. So until then, stay connected and subscribe to my channel techwithas.learn for all future updates. Thanks for watching.